who I welcome to the Special Education Department overview of the 2021-2022 school year. Today's agenda includes a department overview, job duties, IEPs, services, eligibility areas, our providers, and a breakdown of services. The end of the presentation has my contact information. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have. The Special Education Department always makes sure to keep Compass Charter Schools' mission, vision at the forefront of our work. We collaborate with all departments within Compass to ensure the future success for all scholars. Our department has two coordinators, Lauren Jeffries and myself, Leslie Sharma. Currently, both Lauren and I are also serving as acting co-directors of the Special Education Department. We currently have 13 amazing and dedicated education specialists This year, we have two instructional aides who work closely with our education specialists to support them in providing specialized academic instruction to our scholars. Tammy Zaccaro, our special education technician, is responsible for assigning related, service to, re related services to our scholars. When a scholar enrolls at Compass Charter Schools, Tammy assigns services required in a scholar's IEP. For initial assessment requests, Tammy coordinates the assessors and needs needed to conduct the evaluations requested. If there are changes throughout the year, Tammy coordinates with our providers to ensure changes go into effect as smoothly as possible. Tammy also coordinates with our non-public agencies who are supporting our team with case management. What is an IEP? IEP is an acronym for Individualized Education Program or Plan. It is a blueprint for a child's special education experience at school. It provides individualized special education and related services to meet a child's unique needs. These services are provided at no cost to families. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, dictates this plan. This is a federal special education law for children with disabilities. A child may qualify, qualify for an IEP if they have one or more of the 13 disabilities listed in IDEA. The law lists specific challenges like learning disabilities, ADHD, autism, and others. The disability must affect the child's educational performance and or ability to learn and benefit from the general education curriculum. The child must need specialized instruction to make progress in school. The special education department continues to grow. We are currently serving 200, I'm sorry, 428 scholars with IEPs across three charters. Special education teachers, or as we know them, education specialists, wear many hats. Their various roles include being a mentor, an educator, a man manager, and a collaborator. Education specialists have many duties. Those duties include scheduling and planning specialized academic instruction, teaching SAI sessions, writing IEPs, scheduling and holding IEPs, collecting and gathering data, and updating information in the special education inform information system and in the school-wide information system. Within the IEP itself, there are distinct responsibilities for education specialists. With the IEP, they keep a calendar of the IEP meetings and due dates. They monitor delivery of special education and related services, review progress on goals, prepare materials for the annual review, gather data to show evidence of scholar progress, establish baseline for new goals. Ed specialists also monitor and document they monitor progress in general education classes, establish a system for having weekly contact for scholars who are monitor only, 
monitor in collaboration with counselors, credit required for graduation, promotion and credit recovery. The job of an education specialist also requires collaboration with the scholar's general education teacher. They advise the general education teachers of scholar needs, accommodation, and modifications. They assist with needed accommodations. They communicate supports that are available for the scholars, including study skills. They establish a system for contacting general education to teachers monitoring scholar progress. They encourage general education teachers to contact case managers for assistance. It's important for education specialists to communicate regularly with parents and guardians. At the beginning of the school year, education specialists connect with parents and scholars to provide contact information. They explain their role as case manager, describe the contacts that they will be having with the general education teachers, define the scholar's responsibilities. Throughout the year, education specialists log all phone calls and contacts, request assistance in areas of need, and inform the parents about their scholar's progress towards meetings, meeting their IEP goals. Their focus will be on go, the, the focus of ed specialists is ongoing with collaboration with parents in, in order to support their scholars. Services and supports. At Compass Charter Schools, we provide many services to support our scholars IEPs. Some of the more common services include specialized academic instruction, adaptive physical education, speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, assistive technology, and mental health or counseling. The majority of, special, the majority of specialized academic instruction or SAI is done by our case managers while the rest of our services are contracted out to providers. The chart shows the distri distribution of services that are contracted out. As you can see, speech and language therapy is our most common, followed by occupational therapy and counseling. Our scholars receive many of their virtual and in-person services with a variety of providers. The majority of the services are served through global teletherapy, presence learning, Oxford Consulting, El Paseo Children's Center, Anchor Counseling, and Amplio Speech. This graph indicates the number of scholars we have receiving one or more of their services with each of the listed providers. As you can see, we work with many different agencies. Currently, the majority of our scholars receiving their services are receiving their services through Global Therapy, Amplio, and Presence Learning. We continue to utilize three subscription programs to help support our scholars in meeting their goals. Our first is Ascend Math. Ascend Math is a personalized online math instruction that provides each scholar with a unique study path through, through skill gap on each level. Individual study plans are prescriptive, adaptive, and automatically assigned. Our next program is Read Naturally. Read Naturally combines three powerful research proven reading intervention strategies to create the effective tool that individualizes instruction and improves reading proficiencies. Using audio support and tracking their progress, scholars work with high interest materials at their skill level to improve fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. Our final program 
is Max Scholar. Max Scholar is a comprehensive and multi-sensory sensory bundle of phonics and reading programs. We use different research-based me methods to help scholars improve their reading skills, language, and performance scores. Questions or comments? Please contact myself, Leslie Sharma, or Lauren Jeffries if you have any questions. Thank you for taking the time.